If you like reading, then you probably know about Readwise, an app that helps you export your Amazon Kindle highlights and review them periodically so that you can retain the most important ideas from your favorite books. However, this approach is based on memorization. It doesn't help you generate new ideas. The whole point of reading, in my opinion, is not only to remember what other people said, but also to generate your own ideas, to uh, stimulate your imagination, to think about the things you wouldn't have thought of before to make new connections between the ideas that you encounter. And this is where AI and knowledge graphs can be very helpful because instead of just reviewing the quotes that you extracted from the books that you like, you can visualize them as a knowledge graph, reveal the main concepts and topical clusters of ideas that are contained within, see the relations between them. This will already provide you a really good overview of the content of any book and of your own quotes that you extracted from it. And then as the next step, you can also look at the gaps in this structure. So what are the topics that are not well connected yet? And then if you think of a question or of an idea that would help you bridge those gaps, then you would fill in the gaps in the content and come up with new ideas and generate some interesting insights. This is the approach that I want to present to you today using an app that's called Infranodus that I created that visualizes any text as a text network, as a knowledge graph, and helps you identify those gaps so you can generate new ideas. We'll be using the Infranodus extension, which you can install into any browser, and all you need to do is just to open the Amazon Highlights page and click the extension and then it's going to generate the insights for you. Compare it to the traditional approach that you have in Readwise where you have to open the app itself or an app on the phone and scroll through the quotes just to kind of reread them. Then you have to maybe choose the books that you would like to review. You could also probably rely on Readwise feeding you some randomly generated quotes but it doesn't really think of the connections between them. Whereas using the knowledge graph, you can actually yourself choose which topics in which book you want to connect in an interesting way. And then think of the question yourself or generate a new idea using the built-in AI. And I would like to also emphasize that you don't even need an app for this. It's just an approach that we propose that you can use without any technology. When reading a book, uh, keeping in mind the most important ideas, the connections between them, thinking of the topics they form, and then always trying to point, point attention to the parts of the discourse that are not well connected to the gaps in it. Because that will be a really interesting way to discover new ideas that touch upon the subjects that the book is talking about, but that is relating them in a completely new way. So if you're interested to learn how it works, keep watching and I will demonstrate step by step. In order to begin, we need to open the Infranodus app and once you're logged in, you can download the browser extension for Chrome browser or any other browser. And once you install it and pin it to your toolbar, at the top you can start using it on any page. So for example, let's open the Kindle highlights page. It's available on read.amazon.com. Once you open it, you will see all the books which you annotated so far. So in my case, I'm going to choose this book, Medical Nemesis, The, Ex the Expropriation of Health, written by Ivan Ilyich. And here I have my 70 or so, or so quotes from the book. Let's say that I would like to review them. So normally, if I used Readwise, I would open that same book in Readwise here. I would go into library and uh, open Medical Nemesis. The only thing that it proposes me is to review my highlights, which is okay, but you know, if you have a, a few of them, it gets pretty difficult. It's the same on Kindle. I can only review them. So this is where Infernodus comes in and where it can be really useful. You have the extension button here or at the top toolbar and once you click it, Infernodus will extract the information that you see on the screen. By the way, you can use it for any page, not only for your highlights, and visualize this data that it finds inside as a graph. The main concepts you use are the words and the concurrences are the connections between them. So that already gives you a really good visual overview of the main ideas inside. You can see that this book is talking about medical nemesis, also health, and also work, and concerned with suffering and disease and sickness and life and so on. So that gives us a really nice overview of the main topics inside the book. Actually, if we click on topics, we will see high-level ideas. Uh, this book is about healthcare, pain management, disease control, and we can see more topics here. So 
that is a really good way to understand what the content of the book is about in a quick summary. By the way, you can also uh, use the built-in AI to generate the summary of this book. Uh, it uses GPT-4 behind the scene, so it will take the graph structure, the content of the book, and try to come up with a, a, a nice and concise summary of what those quotes are about. Again, this is not what the book is about, but it's what the actual quotes that you selected are about. So that's very interesting. You can get a general idea of the book here. However, the more interesting part is that you can use the graph to identify the gaps in the content. So for example, here it's proposing us to make a connection between uh, one topic, which is illness labeling, and another one, medical pioneers. We can also reload the topic and say uh, that we want to connect the cluster of healthcare and pain management, for instance, right? And what I propose to do here always is to try to ask the question by yourself. So how could the idea of pain management be related to healthcare in the context of this book? And you can click here on the context and see the statements, which uh, could provide you some kind of indication of how you could connect those ideas. So for example, here, he's talking about the malignant spread, spread of medicine, because he doesn't like medicine, has comparable results. It turns mutual care and self-medication into misdemeanors or felonies. So he's talking uh, about the fact how medical care uh, makes people care for each other and for themselves less. And then there is another idea from another cluster where he's talking about Descartes, who traced the coordinates for the implementation of the project. His, effect his description effectively turned the human body into clockworks and placed a new distance not only between soul and body, but also between the patient's complaint and the physician's eyes. Uh, within this mechanized framework, pain turned into a red light and sickness into mechanical trouble. So you see, he's talking about this idea of how Descartes' philosophy influenced our understanding of pain. So that's the topic of pain management here. And then another idea uh, of how medicine or healthcare is preventing people from uh, mutual care and also makes them care about themselves less. So it's kind of like a criticism. And what the system proposes to us here is to think of a connection between those two topics. So that's a very good way to develop your ideas in relation to the book because instead of just getting the quotes, you're actually trying to understand uh, what it is that you could be thinking about in relation to this content. And once you do that, uh, you can think of an idea and write it down. Or what you can also do is to use the built-in AI and generate a question for you. So then it will take those statements that it identified the names of the topics, the keywords, the graph structure, that's very important because it also retains information about the relations between those concepts and then it generates an, uh, a research question for you. How does the transition from personal and autonomous health management to an industrialized medicalized system impact the societal perception of pain and its role in shaping the human experience of life, death and labor? So it's a highly philosophical question but that also relates to health policies and our own understanding of pain. Uh, do we start to fear pain? Do we start to want to put it off and uh, use uh, some medical treatments or even drugs to suppress it? And what would happen if we didn't have this industrial complex in front of us? Uh, how, what would be the different ways to manage this pain? So that's like a really interesting insight that can come out from the book. And we just looked at only two topics. We can reiterate this process and choose more gaps. So for example, here, uh, illness labeling and disease control, and ask the system to generate a new question for us that would bridge a new gap, right? For example, here, it's asking how does the transformation of medical practice from personalized artisanal care to generalized technical procedures influence the societal perception of sickness and health thereby altering the roles and identities of those labeled as sick or deviant. So also how society starts to see sick people different because of this uh, labeling approach that medicine or traditional medicine proposes and how they're treated in society. So that's like another very interesting question that asks about the impact on society. And as you can see here, we're not just reading through the quotes and trying to remember what the author said. and Maybe sometimes we would make connections, but it would be very difficult because they are organized in a chronological uh, format. Here we actually have the graph that helps us understand what are the gaps or underdeveloped uh, topical clusters inside this, this content and then generates uh, interesting questions that we can save uh, or use uh, elsewhere. You know, so you can even 
copy them and put them into your favorite uh, personal knowledge management system or you can also save it directly inside Infranodus and then it's going to be visualized as a graph for you and then you can add some stuff uh, that you find interesting from those highlights and then gradually you know once you do that a few times you will also have a graph inside Infranodus itself so you can visualize and analyze your ideas that you generated from those quotes just based on the same approach but in a more advanced way because here in the main interface not in the extension you have multiple different analytical measures like you can see the main ideas the blind spots the relations and so on you can also interact with graph in more detail so that's how it would work and as you can see this is a really great way of reading because instead of just memorizing the highlights you actually generate new ideas from them by the way, you can also do this inside Readwise itself. So if you open those quotes in Readwise, you can, in the similar fashion, uh, load the Infranodus extension, and then you will see that there are some nodes. In fact, here it would be a little bit more precise because it doesn't have uh, all the other content uh, that Amazon Reader has. So it's just your quotes. And again, you would use the same approach. You can expand the graph, visualize the gaps, and what's interesting is that you can see there are also topics, uh, but it proposes gaps from slightly different perspectives. So you can really get a lot of really interesting insights just from analyzing your Readwise uh, quotes as well directly. So it kind of adds a really interesting layer on top. You don't just review the quotes, but rather you're analyzing connections between them. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Let me know if you have any questions or comments uh, below. And also feel free to try out this tool on infranodos.com. Thank you.